It's creepy, it looks gross, and it's pretty weird. In this project, we'll show you how we 3D printed these grotesque looking props and added finishing techniques to make them look like something from a horror film. This project was inspired by a flesh sucking phone charger from Japan. But instead of using traditional sculpting techniques and materials, we 3D printed them using NinjaFlex filament. Inside these parts are a USB battery pack and charging cable, so this actually charges your phone without any of the actual sucking. It flexes without any issue and it's surprisingly durable. We 3D printed the parts in flesh tone colored NinjaFlex with a 0% infill. For slice settings and a full tutorial on this project, be sure to check out our learning guide linked below. We sculpted the parts in Fusion 360 using teeth splines with the freeform modeling tools. We duplicated one section using the pattern feature which made it really easy to adjust the length of the part to match the length of our charging cable. We then brought the object into Maya where we added nonlinear deformers to give the geometry a twist. This makes it look more organic by adding more curvature. Using Simplify 3D, we imported the model and flattened the bottom by lowering it below the grid. This helps provide better bed adhesion and lets us 3D print without any support material. A 0% infill will make the part hollow and essentially speeds up the print time. E6000 adhesive will permanently bond these pieces together while maintaining the material's flexibility. Just make sure to give them several hours to fully cure. This water-based acrylic paint holds onto NinjaFlex really well, so there's no sanding or primer coats necessary. A mix of red and black gives us that bloody tone that works well for this project. This was our first time airbrushing, so we made sure to practice on some paper and failed prints to get a feel for it. We're really just adding shades of pigment to the creases and adding details like thin veins. With a couple of light coats, you can really add some depth to the part and give it that finished look. It looks so much more dramatic when compared to one without any airbrushing. We found shading along the bevels and leaving spots uncolored give it this nice highlight. And if you accidentally spray on too much, you can use a damp paper towel to lightly wipe away any excess paint. Once you have all of the layers coated, we can move on to adding the veins. Spraying at close distances will give you thin lines. Again, we suggest practice spraying on a failed print or prototype to get a feel for it. Once we were happy with the look, we then threaded our charging cable through the part. The USB port has a snug fit, so it holds on pretty nicely. We really like how this actually has a useful application besides just looking gross. It also acts as strain relief for the cable. The material is virtually indestructible, which is why we really like using NinjaFlex, especially for mobile phone cases. Well, that's it for this one. If you guys have any suggestions for future projects, just let us know. And for more projects from Adafruit, be sure to subscribe.